FSC Biology Chapter 4 most important chapter with respect to PPSC because 4 to 6 MCQs have been seen in almost all past papers of lecturer and subject specialist biology. So your patience to stay with me will inshallah help you to cover all aspects in no time. Please watch it online. Chapter 4 has almost 20 topics. So in this lecture we shall discuss first 10 and in part 2 remaining 10 inshallah. Links of first three chapters which we have discussed so far are in the description if you want to check. Cell Theory Cell is structural and functional unit of life. Robert Hooke was the first person who discovered cells in 1665 and he published his work in Micrographia. Now these two keywords are important Micrographia and 1665. He worked on sections of cork dead plant material. Robert Hooke only described cell as empty boxes with thick walls because he observed plant cells in the microscope. German scientist Lawrence Oken in 1805 used the term vesicle for cells. Lamarck had same idea like the Lawrence and uh, said nobody can have life without cellular tissue. In 1831, Robert Brown discovered a nucleus. Theodor Schwann, a German botanist, and Schleiden, uh, a zoologist, proposed cell theory. So, who proposed cell theory? These two names must be kept in mind. They recognized three parts of cell as nucleus, fluid, and outer covering. Fluid means cytoplasm, and outer covering means plasma membrane or cell wall. Rodolphe Virchow in 1855 said, Omnis cellula e cellula in German. So what is the meaning of this sentence? New cells originate from already existing cells or pre-existing cells. This statement uh, uh, created a huge chaos among the minds of the people at that time because most of the people believed that in the theory of abiogenesis. Now what is abiogenesis? Actually abiogenesis theory proposed that living things arise from non-living things. They are not originated from living ones. So the omni cellula e cellula created a huge chaos in the minds of scientists as well as the laymen. Rodolphe Virchow and Louis Pasteur rejected this famous theory of abiogenesis and uh, uh, Louis Pasteur in 1862 experimentally proved that this theory of abiogenesis is wrong and organisms cannot be produced from non-living parts. In 1880, August Wiesman said that all living things have common origin or common ancestor. This statement is important to remember please. Now, scleran chymatous cells in plants provide support. Colon chymatous cells carry out photosynthesis, paran chymatous cells store surplus food and meristematic cells in plants result in growth and development or meristematic cells are responsible for growth and development. Resolution of human eye is 1 millimeter, resolution of compound microscope is about 2 micrometer and resolution of electron microscope is about 2 to 4 angstrom. These facts are important to remember. Now, how to calculate magnification power or magnifying power of a microscope? Simply multiply the power of objective lens with the eyepiece lens or ocular lens and the result is magnification. Like if the ocular lens is 10x and the objective lens is also 10x, then the magnification will be 100. Cells in general. Cell fractionation is used to study components of cells. Tissues are homogenized or mixed and the mixture is centrifuged or spinned to separate components. High speed centrifugation is called ultra centrifugation. Protoplasm is a complete cell except outer boundary like plasma membrane or cell membrane. Cytoplasm is in between nuclear membrane and plasma membrane. Sizes of cells are measured in micrometers. 1 micrometer is equal to 0.00001 meter. Ostrich egg is the biggest cell so far. Plasma membrane. <clears throat> now your attention must be deep. In plasma membrane, 60 to 80 percent are proteins while 20 to 40 percent are lipids. According to unit membrane model, there are two models of structure of plasma membrane. Unit membrane model, membrane is lipid bilayer sandwiched between inner and outer protein layer. This model uh, showed or proposed that uh, 
in between there is a lipid bilayer and on the upper side and the lower side of that layer are protein layers complete but on the other hand according to fluid mosaic model proteins are not present as layers on upper and lower side but they are embedded like the nails in the wood in the lipid bilayer lipid soluble substances and neutral substances cross the plasma membrane easily active transport through membrane require energy and that energy is provided by atp taking in materials in the form of vacuoles by infolding is called endocytosis and if engulfed material is liquid it is pinocytosis and if engulfed material is solid it is phagocytosis nerve cell plasma membrane transmit impulses also that's important to remember the unique property cell wall cell wall is secreted by protoplasm of plant cells and cell wall has three main layers primary secondary and middle lamella middle lamella is the first to be formed between primary layers of neighbors primary wall is composed of cellulose pectin and hemicellulose in criss cross manner primary wall is true wall which develop in young growing cells or you can say the first wall which develop around the plant cell is primary wall secondary wall is rigid and uh, rigid mean hard and thick and is formed inner to primary toward protoplasm chemically secondary wall is inorganic salt silica waxes and uh, cutin and uh, uh, lignin prokaryotic cell wall lack cellulose but peptidoglycan or murein is present in prokaryotic cell wall so these chemical components are very important to remember cell wall of fungi contain chitin or is made up of chitin major functions of cell wall involve providing definite shape and providing rigidity to the cells and it's not a barrier like plasma membrane cytoplasm living content of cells are cytoplasm and nucleus soluble part of cytoplasm is called cytosol which is a ground substance in the whole cytoplasm it has 90% water in cytosol small molecules form true solution while larger molecules form colloidal solution and if colloidal solution is non viscous it is sol and if it is viscous it is gel peripheral parts are made up of colloidal part or gel like material in the cytoplasm peripheral mean cornered cytoplasm is storehouse and glycolysis occurs in cytoplasm mitochondria are freely moving organelles in the cells that's very important to remember endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum is the system of channels or tubes or tubules in the cytoplasm throughout and it may spread from plasma membrane to nuclear membrane the spherical or tubular membranes of endoplasmic reticulum which separate material from cytoplasm are called cisterni rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes and thus is site for protein synthesis which are pushed to golgi apparatus proteins Smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in metabolism of lipids, detoxification of drugs and transport. That is these three are main functions of smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The rest functions of EPR are in muscle and nerve cells endoplasmic reticulum transmit impulses and that is smooth endoplasmic reticulum. EPR also provide mechanical support to maintain shape of a cell these all are the functions of smooth endoplasmic reticulum all the last three points ribosomes plaid was the first person to study ribosomes in 1955 ribosomes are tiny granular structures found in cytoplasm and on rough endoplasmic reticulum they are composed of equal amounts of rna and proteins that's why they are ribonucleoproteins actually they are consisted of two sub units larger one sediments at 60s swedberg units while smaller at 40s and that is about eukaryotic ribosomes when attached together both sub units 
collectively sediment at ATS. Magnesium ions control the attachment of smaller subunit with the larger subunit. Ribosomes attach with messenger RNA through small subunits. So if you are asked that which subunit attach with messenger RNA directly, then that is smaller subunit. Group of ribosomes attached to messenger RNA is called polysome. New ribosomes are assembled in nucleolus which is factory of ribosomes. So that is very important uh, point to remember that ribosomes are synthesized or assembled in the nucleolus. Factory for protein synthesis is ribosomes. Golgi apparatus, the most important organelle to remember. Golgi apparatus was discovered by Camillo Golgi in 1898 and uh, was found in all eukaryotic cells. Stacks of flattened membrane bound sacs are called cisterni in the Golgi apparatus. Cisterni attached with vesicles are called Golgi complex completely. Cisterni stacks are formed by fusion of vesicles from smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Please focus and remember these facts are very important. Outer convex face of cisterni membrane stacks is forming face while inner concave one is maturing face. So forming face and maturing face these two keywords are important to understand. Cisterni breaks into vesicles from maturing face. Cisterni move from outer to inner face in a stack. Proteins synthesized in ribosomes are converted to glycoproteins in Golgi apparatus. Really these facts are very very boring but they are equally important for the exam. Golgi complex functions in cell secretions. Both endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi transport cell secretions outside in the form of packing or vesicles or vacuoles. Most important function of Golgi apparatus <coughs> is to modify proteins and convert them into glycoproteins or glycolipids. Now that have been seen in the past papers. Pancreatic enzymes are packed into granules by Golgi apparatus. Lysosomes, the most important topic in chapter 4 to understand for PPSC, lysosomes. <coughs> Lysosomes differ from other organelles due to their morphology. They are morphologically different or they are apparently different from other organelles of the cell. They were first isolated by Duvet in 1949. They are splitting bodies and engulf any foreign body and digest it into simple form that is their main function. This eating process of cell is called phagocytosis. They are abundant in phagocytic cells, those cells which are meant, which are made to eat other cells are phagocytic cells and lysosomes are abundant in them. Single membrane bound <coughs> are lysosomes are single membrane bound uh, which contain phosphatase and hydrolytic enzyme. So acid phosphatase and hydrolytic enzymes are two famous enzymes in the lysosomes. These enzymes are synthesized on rough endoplasmic reticulum and processed in Golgi apparatus. So these are two steps for the synthesis or uh, uh, intrusion of enzymes into the lysosomes. First they are synthesized with endoplasmic reticulum rough and then they are processed in Golgi apparatus. Processed enzyme budded off from Golgi are called primary lysosomes. So these are the steps of formation of lysosomes. Primary lysosome when fused with phagocytic vacuole they form secondary lysosome or digestive lysosome etc. Lysosomes which digest own cellular particle, self cellular particle of the cell during starvation or any other uh, abnormal circumstance, they are autophagosomes. Digestive vacuoles and autophagosomes are called secondary lysosomes. That MCQ has already been asked I think three times in the past papers. Autophagy or self-eating 
occurs for old and worn out parts like mitochondria so mitochondria are uh, uh, continuously eaten and are produced new or renewed in the cell lysosomic enzymes can also degenerate complete cells as uh, during development many cells during development are uh, uh, degenerated due to their uh, unnecessity that's why that function is performed by lysosomes they also release enzymes for extra cellular digestion mean outside the cells digestion the disease caused due to accumulation of substances in cells or storing of substances or extra quantity of the substances in the cells are storage diseases these diseases are caused by a mutation in lysosome enzymes and those enzymes become inactive or become degenerated and they cannot digest those substances in the cell that's why those substances become accumulated or become stored in the cells and cause disease glycogenosis type 2 liver and muscle are filled with glycogen that is a disease in which liver and muscle cells are filled with huge amount of glycogen there are almost 20 types of diseases known which occur due to absence of lysosome enzymes for example tay sachs disease is caused by absence of lipid catabolic enzyme the enzyme which catabolize lipids so accumulation of lipids in brain cells lead to mental retardation or even death these facts are very very important please do revise this video twice or thrice to remember all these facts peroxisomes in 1965 the duve and co-workers isolated peroxisomes from liver cells rich in peroxidase catalase glycolic acid oxidase enzymes so peroxisomes have these three important enzymes like peroxidase catalase glycolic acid oxidase they were named because of involvement in formation and decomposition of hydrogen peroxide h2o2 and their name is basically due to peroxy mean peroxide of hydrogen they are found both in animal and plant cells and are single membrane bounded they are rich in hydrogen peroxide and produce oxidases and catalases enzyme their diameter is 0.5 micrometer in length and they are also found in protozoans yeast and higher plants that's for this part uh, of the chapter in the next part inshallah we shall discuss the second half and the remaining 10 topics hope you have learned please do revise and watch again and again the facts are important to remember do not ignore them thanks